Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. Today I want to talk about playing with the universe. And it, it is a playground. It is a joyful place to be. It's just that we're brought up not to know how to and we're brought up not to believe that it is, that it's a serious place and we need to work hard and take ourselves seriously. When you watch children, they, they don't take life seriously. There's a curiosity, a joy, a lightness. Um, and when I look back on when I was a child and what I created in my life, I was a phenomenal creator. I loved horses. And um, I created this pony that someone had outgrown. Um, we didn't have money to own a horse or to look after a horse. And um, these people just wanted someone to ride this pony. They didn't want to give him up. They loved him dearly. Um, so I got to look after him and ride him and care for him completely free as if he was my own. Um, there were so many things that I was able to create when I was young because I just enjoyed it and I, I found life just so amazingly interesting. And what I want to share with you today is if we were able to take life less seriously, maybe we wouldn't get so attached or so defeated when things don't turn out the way we want them. Because life brings things to us at the level that we are vibrating at. And I've talked about raising your vibration and I've got a free course to that, so I'll put all the links to that in, in the notes below. But life brings us what we're vibrating at, the level we're vibrating at. And in the past, I didn't really truly understand how this worked. I thought that if I thought of something, the universe would bring me or source would bring me something, the thing that I, I really wanted, and it would be perfect. I didn't realize that the level that I was vibrating at was, was what in, indicative of what was brought to me, the experiences. And I also took it very seriously. So if I got something and it wasn't what I wanted or there was something not quite right with it, I would feel like I'd failed. But now I've realized that there's such joy in it and there's such juiciness and such wonder that it's, it's like, you know, when you're learning to ride a bicycle or as a child, when you learn to walk, when they fall down, they don't beat themselves up and say, oh my God, I'm an awful person, I failed, I, I'll never be able to do this. They giggle unless they've hurt themselves and they bounce back up and they get going again. You know, why did we lose this thing? Why do we take it so personally? Um, I mean, I've, <laughs> in the past, I've created boyfriends. Um, I've done it twice. The first one, I had a list. I was very specific. <laughs> he had to be taller than me. Um, he wasn't allowed to smoke, dark hair. Um, what else? I wanted him to be a handyman and good around the house and um, caring, um, I can't remember what else. It was a very, very extensive, very detailed list. And the person that came into my life, he ticked every single box. He, he hit every single thing on that list. And the relationship was a disaster. So I thought I'd failed. I remember feeling very specifically, you know, when, when he arrived in my life, I thought, oh my God, the universe and I are one, we're creating and this is so amazing. And then when things went south and they, and they did fairly quickly, I thought I'd done something wrong and I tried so hard. I tried so hard to, to be the right person and I punished myself because I believed that I'd done, you know, that, that I was the failure in the relationship. I was the one that was causing it to be so awful. Anyway, irrespective of how I was feeling and whatever, I, I still decided that it was not working and I got out. And a few years later, I decided I would try again. And I had another list, but this time it was a very different list. Instead of having sort of physical attributes, this list was more about experiences that I wanted to have with this person. Um, I wanted to enjoy dancing with them. Um, I wanted to feel loved with them. Um, and I can't even remember what the list was, but anyway, another gentleman came along and um, he again met all these things on this list. But this time it was different because right from the word go, there was an instant connection. And I thought, my goodness, you know, the, you know, this has worked. The universe has brought me this beautiful person. But I took it a bit slower. And um, when I was dating him, there came a point when I realized that something wasn't quite right. Something was off. 
but I still hadn't quite figured out how this whole universe thing works. So I still was still th thought that he had come and he he was my soulmate, that the universe had given me him as my soulmate, and that something in me was what was resistant to him. There was something wrong with me, that if I changed who I was, then we would have this amazing relationship. But what I've now realised was he came to me because of where I was vibrating at that point in my life. I didn't have to go out with him. When I sensed that there was something off, I could have ended it then. I could have said, you know what, this isn't going to work for me. I could have taken myself back, I could have looked at myself, and I could have said, okay, you know, you have attracted this person because of where you're vibrating at, there's something not quite right, let's have a little play with that. Let's have a jiggle around, let's see where your vibration is off, and let's recalibrate, and then go back and see what's what's out there in the world that that meets where you want to be. Because I knew where I wanted to be with my vibration, but I hadn't got it quite there yet. I hadn't quite fine-tuned it enough. So the feedback that I was getting from the universe was, this is where you're at. But I took it so personally, and it has taken me years, years to get back into the whole dating thing, because I didn't end the relationship then. It went on for three years. <laughs> and throughout those three years, I was so determined in trying to be who I thought I needed to be because I needed to make this relationship work. And I look back and I think it's ridiculous. But anyway, <clears throat> at the time, that was what I needed to go through. And eventually I realised that I didn't actually need to go through all of that because the signs were there in the beginning. Um, but I have learned from it and I've learned more about myself. I've learned more about how Source and the Universe works. I've learned that it, I can see, I know that the Universe brings me things where I'm vibrating at. And I now know that if I want to get what I really want in life, I need to change my vibration. I need to become the person that attracts those things in my life. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the insights that I've shared with you today my stories about the disasters in my life. I really, it means so much to me if you like, subscribe and share, and I would really appreciate it if you would do that. I have lots of resources, some of which I've named and are in the notes below, but many more are on my website. There's free courses, there's longer, more in-depth paid courses. If you choose you want to do some coaching with me to help you shift into a more conscious way of being, please contact me. I'd be more than happy to have a chemistry call with you. So much love from me to you, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.